Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm shaving with Sterling Soap Co's uh, Weekend in Malibu. And the reason for this, and uh, I have a lot to talk about, but I've already kind of pre preloaded here. I'm gonna load a little bit more. This is the uh, Maggard 28 millimeter fan knot <clears throat> badger. So I, um, I'm gonna do a, a, an aftershave video, basically just showing what I have, you know. Um, I don't think I have a single aftershave that's over, let's see, the major, I, I'd say that the average cost of my aftershaves are probably $10. I don't have a whole bunch of uh, higher end aftershave. Like I have, I think the most expensive one that I have right now is uh, the Fine Platinum. Uh, I just, I can't justify spending, anyways, that's a, that's for a different video. But that that's what I've been doing. I'm going to shoot a video that's the load there. Nice and pasty in there. I'm gonna do a video for, uh, for aftershaves. So, I've been having this inner debate of, do I let this grow back out? You know, like, I don't know. I really, I mean, the, the, the real reason, my, like, my wife doesn't necessarily hate it. She doesn't like it, but like, it's not like I'm getting couch time or anything like that because I have a, I have a goatee. Like, it's not like that, but, oh, by the way, uh, it's an afternoon shave. So, uh, Heineken, cheers, ladies and gents. So, um, so I'm, you can already tell this is very pasty. I'm going to have to add a bunch of water, but I'm having this internal debate. I'm also getting a blemish right there. You can probably see it clearly on the camera. Right there. You know, do I, do I grow it out or do I shave it? I don't know. I'll be using the uh, Philharmonica Dobo Temple today for the shave. It's my little, my little straight. Same size lengthwise, it's the, uh, it's the actual height or the width of the, uh, the blade. All right. Oh yeah. You, I say this with a lot of soaps guys, but I am of the opinion that I don't care if you have a trillion dollars in your bank account and you could buy every you could buy a thousand of every single soap on the market of wet shaving. There are high value soaps, Sterling is most definitely one of them. That honestly, you know, you could put up there against you know, against the best or 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 <laughs> uh noted as the best from the wet shaving community. And that would be kind of like Peter Charcalis's The Club and Ariana and Evans. And don't get me wrong, those soaps are amazing. The, But at some point, you know, like, where do you stop? And, you know, that's, again, that's, that's even something for a different discussion. You know, how far do you take this, uh, <laughs> The soap, like we're getting cosmetic uh, products in, in our soaps now. Some of you may have um, heard of Barrister and Man and other companies that are using cosmetic products. And I think I think Peter's new Kaizen formula, Peter Chakralis, is also using that. Anyways, I guess my main point is, even if you have every single soap, like... I don't think anything beats these high value soaps like Sterling. You know, I mean, what are we trying to do here? I'm not trying to use my shave soap as a, look at the lather on this, geez. I'm not trying to use my shave soap by any means as a one trick pony, right? I'm not trying to use it as an aftershave where I don't have to put on an aftershave after. I like aftershaves. I like feeling the, the burn of the aftershave, truly. Um, you know, some soaps are very good at moisturizing. And, you know, like, 
I have, for instance, I have all of my aftershaves right here, by the way, like right down here, because I'm going to shoot the video right after I finish shaving. Um, but most of the time, I use one of these two, and these are all just products that I purchased, Jack Black and Nivea Men's uh, Post Shave Balm. If I'm feeling that my skin is dry, like if I, for instance, if I were to use um, Colonel Cox soaps, a high glycerin based soap, yeah, that doesn't have very much, you know, it's a glycerin based soap. It doesn't have any moisturizing qualities, but I would use those. I'm not trying to, like, I don't know. I think we take it a bit too far as far as uh, what we're trying to have our soaps be. Eh, my opinion. Which isn't worth much. Look at the lather on that, though. Alright. So, when I brought these uh, aftershaves in here, I was just popping them open and just sniffing them. Just going over all of them. And this was actually on top of most of my aftershaves that were that were in the drawer. And I'm gonna have to do a shaved in tour as well. I understand that. Just so you guys can kind of understand like where all my stuff is and stuff. Um but yeah, I had to move that soap out and I opened it up and, and I smelled it, you know, the, the weekend in Malibu. And I was like, man, I want to use that soap. So that's what I'm using. But for the next shave, next shave, you'll see me using this stuff. Um, Palm Olive, the, the shave cream. Uh, because the video I did before this with Dr. Squash, I had uh, some, some guys say, if you really don't want to use Dr. Squash's poo-poo soap, my vote is for Palm Olive. So I'll be using that next shave. And I was going to do it, like I said, I was going to do it this shave. I just, uh, I just smelled this and I wanted to use it. So sometimes it's like that. All right. But yeah, this soap is awesome. This was one of the hardest passes for me to do um, when I first began straight razor shaving. Because you're, you're trying to follow the curvature of your, of your chin, which doesn't seem that difficult. <laughs> Got a lot of hair, uh, a lot of growth here. It doesn't seem that difficult, but when you're actually doing it, gotta switch hands.
The soap is very slick. Very, very slick. For a pass. I had to mow the lawn today. We're supposed to get a lot of rain this week. So I wanted to make sure that I was able to do that before all the rain came. And you know, we're supposed to have all of this Sahara, uh, is it African dust or Sahara dust? I forgot what it is. I don't even know if other countries are worried about this stuff. It might just be the U.S., truthfully. But, um, you know, we're supposed to have all this. And it's apparently over Louisiana. My wife swears that she could see a, um, a yellowish tint when she looks at it. It's like, mm, okay, no. <laughs> no. But, okay. I think it's just media hype, truthfully. But, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe there's something to it. I don't, you know. Add a little bit more water to this. I'd be curious if anyone's in another country other than North America. Um, or, you know, I mean, North America meaning the United States or uh, Canada, I suppose. Because I think Canada also had something about the Sahara Desert or African, whatever it's, whatever they call it. I don't know. But, um, yeah, if you're in another country, I know I have a viewer. Uh, is it Bob or Borba the Haas or something? I'm botching your name, I'm sorry. But um, I know you're from Germany, so um, anything like this over there? Here and there. Just weepers, I think. They're not really actual cuts.
So that's definitely going to be this week. The aftershave video will be uploaded and then And then the uh, Palm Olive Shave Cream video will be uploaded with me shaving. Um, and then we'll probably have one more shave this week as well of your pick soap. So that'll be three videos this week that I'll have coming out. Whew. So I think Wednesday or Thursday. Um, I'll be going out of town for a couple of days, so the shave later in the week will probably be of me in a hotel. So, but I'm, I'm driving everywhere I'm going, I'm not flying anywhere, so I'm going to be able to bring straights and my soaps, whatever. So the soaps that you guys, or the soap that you guys vote on, I'll probably have to bring the three, right? Because I'll do a shave on I loaded this way too much. I'll show you. I'll do a shave on um, Tuesday. So today is Sunday. I'll upload this either Sunday evening or um, weeper there, or Monday morning. Then I'll do a shave on Tuesday night or early Wednesday morning. Get that one uploaded, and hopefully I have enough um, guys telling me what what they want to see for that shave as far as the soap. For me to uh, I mean, even if not, I'll still I'll still shave with whatever I bring. But yeah. Kind of had a loss for do I let this grow out or do I continue to shave? The thing is, if I let it. If I want to, um, if I want to let it grow out, I'm going to have to not shoot a video for a couple of days or maybe even a week just to let it grow to a point where it's, it's easily visible, like even more than I had before the shave. just easier to do the cutting at that point, you know, if it's very visible. So, come on, stop crying.
Hmm. Look here. Look how I'm holding the blade. You see how it's like almost perpendicular? <laughs> or or at a 90 degree angle to my face? You do not want to do that. If you push too hard while you're doing that, you're going to slit this wide open. So do as I say, not as I do. All right, let me rinse off. Bad technique I'm showing you guys, I'm sorry. Very, very bad technique. Mm -hmm. That was a good shape. Other than the uh, the one place I cut myself, which was right here. Well, you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, that might have been just a. I don't know if that was a blemish or what. That I just like cut, sliced off. But I had a weeper here that stopped, and the weeper here stopped. So, other than the weeper, the weeper only one cut or I don't know blemish sliced off, whatever. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and put some witch hazel on. I'm probably going to finish off this Heineken, eat a little something, um, grab another Heineken. <laughs> And then uh, maybe start reading a book or something. Um, we're going to go with uh, Baker Street from Sterling. This is one of my aftershaves. You can see about half used. Sterling has a really cool, uh, I think it's $10 for four, four of these. Are these one ounce? Hold on, I'll show you. Hold on. Just trying to get enough out of there. Five milliliter. So it's... You get four of these five mil. This is a nice cologne type scent. Ugh. You get four five milliliter little bottles like this. Um, you can typically get, or at least I get, three to four aftershave uses. So this is good for you know three or four aftershaves. So as soon as I'm done with that one, I'll move on to the next one. But um, for ten dollars. That's, that's the point I was trying to make. I'm, I'm not making my points very clear today, apparently. But All right, so we went with uh, Sterling. This is their, just their tallow base, their beef tallow, not the sheep's, not the mutton tallow, the sheep tallow. Uh, weekend the Malibu. I put this in the water just to soak, but the, the maggard, <laughs> that's all juiced up here. The maggard knot, badger knot. The Philharmonica Doble Temple. My baby Philly here. Philharmonica. And we finished off with Sterling's Baker Street Aftershave. And can't forget, you know, Witch Hazel. There's. Why was the water running? Anyways, this has been a shit show. Guys, hope you have a good one, and I'll see you next shave.